it's so anyway. fun to see these guys who've been around forever still touring. I saw, you remember I saw Johnny Mathis last year? Yep. And Johnny Mathis, gosh, I mean, he's got to be, what is he, 90, you think? Or let's, ask, let's ask, find ask out. your pal. Alexa, how old is Johnny Mathis? Johnny Mathis, 80 years old. He's 80. Oh, well, he's well, 80. Okay. Well, I'll, well, I'll give you somebody who's older. Is, is it Mick Jagger older? He's at Alexa. How old is Mick Jagger? Yeah, okay. 80 no, years old. Old. You, but here's you, the thing. You ready for you this? You sound so angry when you talk to Alexa. Well, you're, you're <laughs> mean, <dude. laughs> no, Alexa, you, who's Mick? How old is Mick right, Jagger? Tell you want me something now. You skank. know the stuff. <laughs> Tell me now, skank. <laughs> well, you, so, do, you sound angry. No, I, sound... I don't know. I get impatient sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but Jagger and the Stones have just started a tour, and their the first leg of their tour was just down the road. It was just down the road. Roof it up. Was just down the road in Houston, and backstage in Houston, he and a couple of background singers did a little warm up. This is just thirty seconds of, uh, of of a little song called "Dead Flowers" from Sticky Fingers, nineteen seventy one. Queen of the underground. You can send me dead flowers every morning. Now, this is not in the set list, but he said, you know, let's do a little something from the set. Send me dead flowers by the man. And I've seen a lot of video of him up there doing under my thumb and start me up. And I mean, it, it's just, it's what a force of nature. And he's I know. just a, just a smidge, old. just a smidge younger than Joe Biden. It ain't about the number. It ain't about the number. Well, Did you please tell me after, because I, you were in the earthly hell of the dentist chair. And I apologize. I'm sure there are stories about that. When, when Trump was on stage, I hope you've seen some footage of that since. Well, thank you for expressing concern about my major procedure yes. yesterday. What'd, you, what'd have, you have done? I had to have a deep cleaning in three areas. <laughs> wow. And I, I, for my, three? For, and three different areas. It was weird. Yeah. I, Cause it was like only certain pockets and what? certain parts of my, I, I, every once in a while I have a deep cleaning and it's in one area. It's called my mouth. How, who's no, I selectively, know. I mean, why, who do you know? Well, this, this well, corner of your mouth needs it, but some of the one, pockets no. are deeper than others. And she said, the lady All was right. very feisty the, the the hygienist i had <laughs> the doctor comes in and he says now mike we can numb you where we do this these deep cleanings but most yes. people don't really no. need it i said i'm, no, 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 I'm no, not no. most people doctor i said remember i put the hypo in chondriac shoot me up give me everything you can give me oh yeah shoot, he did he got shoot that me giant up and never stop have you ever noticed the novocaine needle that they pull out it's about the size of a of, of like a a, a, a ball peen hammer. I mean, I it's Novocaine. Huge. I need Novocaine before they hit me with a Novocaine needle. I mean, you know, what what deadens the pain? Of I need the needle? Novocaine in the lobby. <laughs> We're just give it to me right now. I just don't like it. It's not pleasant. But then, of course, I just realized as I was driving home. What a big baby I am. It wasn't that big a deal. I mean, it's fine now. I got the cleaning out of the way. And I'm, it was I'm when you said you're in the chair, I thought you are getting like uh, like five implants and extractions. Well, This I've was been, a deep cleaning? I, mean, I been, know that's not a walk in the park, but still. No, but I've been rejected by like three different dentists for regular cleanings. What? Stephen Jones. Now, I'm going to give a, you a backstory. How does a dentist reject you? Who Thank won't you. take your money? Thank you. Oh, three times. Well, the, here's the thing, though. According to my buddy Stephen Jones, <laughs> who's the founding, uh, you know, producer of Lyric Stage, and he's been on the right. school board in Irving, great guy. Well, he mm -hmm. was a he's a dentist, and and so he gives me hey, some man. advice. He said, "Look, it's a little bit of a racket. They always want to upsell you and make you do the deep cleaning. Because mm -hmm. by the way, not for nothing, I mm -hmm. had to shell out nineteen hundred dollars yesterday for the deep cleaning." So it's they ain't, they ain't cheap, and what what Stephen's saying is they do that because they make more money on a deep cleaning than they do a regular cleaning. Oh, well, so, so 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 I'm so three times I'm like, please give me a, a in New York a couple weeks ago, dentist I usually I've gone to off and on. Please mm -hmm. give me a deep cleaning. Nope, nope. You got pockets. You got pockets. No deep cleaning. We are no regular cleaning. You need a deep clean. I don't. I don't want a deep clean. Uh, Got to have okay. a deep cleaning. I so, see. So they so were rejecting the your deal. business. They were trying to upsell you into into something more but elaborate. The, so, lady, this lady yesterday, she went through all of it. I had twos and threes and five, and then I had a couple of fives and sixes. And she said, "That's where those, we got was it." Was that the was that the gum the recession pockets. measure? Yeah, yeah of the yeah, depth that's of the pockets, gotcha. which yeah, also man. hurts like hell. Yeah. I told her, I said, would you stop poking so hard? 
She goes, well, I got to find out what the pockets are. I said, well, you're going, you're going to go into my brain here. How, how, how far down do you want? I mean, I'm not a good patient. Can you imagine? As with many things, I'm taken to a moment in stand-up comedy and the great Stephen Wright who said, I love my dental hygienist. She's very pretty. She's really pretty. That's why when I go there in the office lobby, I eat a bag of Oreos. Just, just <laughs> awesome. Just awesome. Well, anyway, it's all, all right. done. And, and, they, oh, and then this, just for dental uh, interest, for people who's interested in this, then she put in a restin little. They call them a restin antibacterial meds into the pockets. Ooh. I don't know what the heck that's all about. It's like little. She was and she was like learning how to use it. I thought this is great. She's experimenting on me. But she, I'm she, new. I, yeah, she's. I'm new here. No, she's not. She wasn't new. She listen. Yeah. Wonderful lady, Mary, seventy three years old. She's been at it for thirty years. Wow. Really knew what she was doing. Real feisty mm-hmm. character. And she kept saying, "Oh, I got a baby in the chair. Huh? I got a baby." I said, "Yes, you yes, sure do. Yes, yes you, you do. You got a baby in the chair." <laughs> so, so the arrestin is uh, implanted in my pockets, and all is well, and I'm not hurting at all today. Very I feel good. great. And yes, I saw clips of Trump's speech. You know, most honest analysis of Trump these days mm-hmm. is that on the campaign trail, he's as disciplined as ever. His message is resonating more than ever as before. sharp as ever, as funny as ever, as, as natural as ever. As hysterical. You see him making fun of uh, Biden saying pause on the yeah. teleprompter? Yeah, play this it. Was, that it's... was a... Did, can we play that, guys? Hey, fellas, can we play this for Mark? Because this was so good. I, 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 I did. Oh, you already did? Oh, never mind then. Uh, Scratch that. Yeah, so okay, good. So, so imagine if I was reading the prompter and I said the economy is terrible. Pause. Pause. What is that? It's weird. But, but here's the New York Times takeaway on mm-hmm. his campaigns. Yes. He's a fascist. Here's a, a lengthy, <laughs> deep dive headlined. This is from the New York Times. Charles mm-hmm. Homans covers politics for the mm-hmm. Times. He's attended seven Trump rallies in seven mm-hmm. states. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump has never sounded like this. And the subheadline: like This what? is how this is how fascists speak. He sounds this exactly is, the same. A Trump well, rally now is isn't it? I mean, other than the specific criticism of Biden, isn't a Trump rally now just like most of the Trump rallies? Him talking about a better America, going after the people who go after him. What's so different now? That's what well, that's isn't it wild? The different huh? worlds that we are yeah. in. I mean, and I get it. They're pulling out everything they can. He's yep. a fascist. He's a That's dictator. That's what's different now. You just answered the question. That's what's different now. He, with all of his damage, supposed he, with all of his warts, with all of his you know obstacles, is going to beat Joe Biden, and they know it, and they can't argue on the issues, so they got to make him a fascist, and everything's got to be about democracy. If Trump wins, democracy is on the ballot. I don't know if the, the republic can survive. Shut up. Oh, I know. I mean, they they are flipping out. They, it, some of the the meltdowns, Pelosi and her meltdown, turning on Katie Turr. <laughs> well, if you want to be a Trump apologist, that's on you, but it ain't me. And Katie Turr was like, "Oh, me? I'm a, I'm a yeah. Trump apologist." I don't think you're going to accuse me not, of that. N- not an MSNBC host, but this yeah. is going to. And here he's back in the courtroom again today, and yeah. this is really a significant day. And and we've developed a history. Uh, a tradition we started a few years ago on the National Day of Prayer. This is something that is so desperately needed right now. When we see these godless, Jew-hating college professors and students, I mean, right now, as we speak, the LAPD is making multiple arrests at UCLA. Finally. Uh, I mean, finally. Yeah, I mean, about time. Eric Adams, the mayor of New York, is condemning the protesters. What a great! Well, I can't praise him enough for that. Sitting there saying, "You put a flag of another country up, you know, on an American flagpole, not in this country." My uncle died for this country, and that's not what we do. Good, good for him. Good, good for on him. him. And I, and you know something, I give you and I both believe in giving credit where credit is due. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he went. Eric Davis went all Max uh, John Fetterman. On us. Mm-hmm. I mean, Fetterman's had a lot of clarity. On Did you hear the Fetterman quote? Fetterman quote yesterday. It's clear that among the protesters, there are now two camps. There's the pro Hamas and the really pro Hamas. I just, I just love this guy. I know. I know. He's, he's been so good on, on it all. And yep. so, so what we do, it's kind of neat. Um, and and we also have a really cool guest today on the show, Candace Cameron Bure. Oh uh, yep. my! Lo- D- listen, I love her. Lisa loves her. Just everything well, she does in her movies and stuff, just great. Tell Lisa to tune into the Mike Gallagher show today because mm-hmm. she is the executive producer and star of the new movie um, uh, Unsung Hero, which is a <laughs> really really cool cool story about family and about life. And let's remember our faith today. Let's remember our, our, our the, the you start every day with a prayer. It's significant to me. It's meaningful. It is to your audience as well. You you lift people up. 
who uh, I, I just got some some scary news from our friend, one of my dear friends in South Carolina, because there's all this news about me going to South Carolina starting mm-hmm. on the big station there Monday. And a dear friend of mine uh, just shared that she's battling breast cancer. And that is a that is such a difficult journey. And she lost her hair. And she said, my world has been turned upside down. So uh, I've got her in my heart when we start the National Day of Prayer. And, you know, we've got this 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 uh, system on the Mike Gallagher Show where people can leave voicemails. And I love that. Every Coming out of every break, I always want to play two or three those, or four. Those are awesome. I yeah. want ac- I want access to that line and shoot you a couple of the ones that you won't play. <laughs> we will block you. We will officially anyway, block you. you I, I, listen, I block quickly. I blocked some jerk on uh, Twitter today, Drew from Dallas. So you know what? When you're a jerk, you just get blocked. Incidentally, when you block somebody on X... Do, do other people still see their comments, or do they go away? Yes. Uh, they, well, but one of my favorite things is hide reply, meaning what they replied that, that proves to you they're a jerk, that disappears, and your blockage of them confirms that, uh, that they're a jerk. Hang on a oh, second. Oh, you hide like, reply well, first? You can hide reply. That way that nobody sees the reply, and then it gives you the option, would you also like to block this person? And often that's a big yes. I've gotten way more uh, broad brushed on the blocking. I, I do not tolerate jerks. I Hang don't on, we have, so, we have something from the Mike uh, voicemail line. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, I have a feeling. Yeah, Mike, I have a feeling Biden could resign, and you wouldn't talk about it if you had a dental appointment the previous day. Love you, man. So uh, this go, is the kind guilty of guilty as charged, Bubba. <laughs> guilty <laughs> as charged. Well, I got to go back. I got to do this hide and reply. I kind of like that. I because I, I'm the same way, and I, I believe me, I'm getting carried away. If somebody, listen, I don't mind people disagreeing with me. No, ahead, I, I, I enjoy exchange. Somebody, th- here's why I think you're wrong. Blah blah blah. But if somebody's just being an a hole, then if you're so, right. Bye, if you're six, a jerk. Yeah, bye, Felicia. Yeah, you're gone. You know, and but I got to do the hide and reply because I don't want anybody to see their comments either. So that's kind of cool to know. Thank you for. But hide see, I need reply. all things X. So anyway, <laughs> we have a voicemail system where you can call 655 Mike, and if you press two, you yeah. can leave a voicemail. Uh, and I hope. Really and t- <laughs> but today it's well, but today, Mark, it's okay. all about praying. It's As all well, about prayers. Very. So today good, 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 we're going to just open oh. the te- the voicemail line for prayers only. And we're somebody play might everybody. somebody might leave a little brief a prayer mention, and you guys might play it on the show. We're gonna no, we're going to not might oh, we're doing it all day long. We did it last year. It was very mm-hmm. successful. People That's loved it. Awesome. People, so so keep that in mind today. Starting at uh, at ten oh five, Candace Candace Cameron Bure, uh, awesome. all kinds, of, and I've completely thoroughly recovered from my major procedure so far. No complications. <laughs> it was a, a full yet. mouth removal. I just don't even know I how do, you do a show. I do <laughs> think one of the one of those little packets popped out of my teeth today. I, I think. <laughs> In the, in the sink. The Arrestin, is that the name of the thing? Arrestin. The... It's Arrestin, and it's supposed to be very f- effective in getting rid of the pockets. Uh, but I mean, already okay. Dr. Stephen Jones has weighed in. $1,900 yes. for a deep clean? That's insane. And Do here's the worst insurance? part. No. Well, but they're not on the they they're not in network. In network. This, well, go, to, go to somebody that's in network, dude. Too late now. Cow's <laughs> out of that barn. My teeth are pearly white, yes, and I am are. done. And I got a I got a rest in packets, and I got my numbed my numbness, and I'm ready to go and rock and roll today on the Fantastic, Mike Gallagher show. Fantastic, man! He our... is ready. He is feel. He is, he is. I dated an anesthesiologist once, but I didn't feel anything. But um, boom, old oh, joke. Any, tip uh, your waitresses. Right, he's going to be there here all weekend at Skip Chuckles. the deal. That's <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles and buffoonery here at the club.